see how come because I and before that I would ask what about a whole race of people like Hungarians? I'm not gonna hear say that now because <laughs> my mother her family shouldn't say so I think you shouldn't say that. That's true, but I'm I'm wondering if maybe nobody's gonna really take it seriously. Saying, yeah, unless they yeah, and I'm saying they'll take it serious, but they're gonna be like, okay, yes, yeah, so he's anti-Hungarian. You know I mean, he's uh, anti-Stari, anti-Ashkenazi, whatever it is. So maybe that's not as bad. Uh, as, I don't know. I I don't know. I'm not. I'm no Bucky in Hilchas uh, in Hilchas uh, Lashon Hara. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So the beginning of the daf tonight is. Is the you know, yesterday the last part of the daf was more graphic. Today it's the beginning. It's not as bad. It's not as graphic as yesterday, but uh, so the first part is we're going to talk about shaduchim taka, <laughs> who you should marry, who is it better to marry, um, meaning is it better to marry a zaina or a zaina's kid, right? And then uh, then we get into the pshat and the mishnah when it says ish, right? What? How do you uh, how do you define ish? That's a number aleph. Right, and then uh, Ahmed Bey's is a whole Mishnah which, which goes off. It starts with that, uh, like Yitzi Sunday was talking the other day, which I didn't find an answer to his question yet. Which is that the man, the boil, also suffers, and then the Mishnah goes through <clears throat> a bunch of different things that happened on the day that, um, when the when the Gemara and Brachas when. Uh, when they put Rebbe Lazar ben Azariah up, so it was a bunch of things that said about Tumantara and about Oz Yashir and whatever. That's so, so that's that's basically tonight's tonight's stuff. So on the bottom line, on Chavon the base. So Amar Shmuel, Yisa Adam, a person should marry now on Tamar Aleph Duma. Right, I don't know if the restaurant knows that that's what. Uh, I don't know, maybe that's what I call it, Doma <laughs> instead of Duma. <laughs> but, okay, so Duma is is uh, basically, is uh, talk about Hilchas Lashon Hora. I don't know how that fits into this either. right? The way Taisus says it, Peter Shabbat Hanan, you look at the top word and top line in Taisus, Taisus says, Peter Shabbat Hanan, Shemalizen Oleh B'nei Adam, Shehim Mezana. The, the guys are yeah, everybody's yant, yenting about this lady that she's a, she's Mazana. Where's Lashon Hara come in here? Unless you say it's a Tayelis, you're going to say that there's a reason to say it. Maybe it's a Shvach, maybe it's a Shevach. What that she's a Zaina? You know, we, we don't know about that, what town we're talking about over here. I don't know. I don't know how it goes up in Woodburn. I'm not sure how it goes in Woodburn, but most of I was thinking of South Fallsburg, but whatever. Okay, whatever. Okay, sure, whatever. In that neck of the woods. Okay. Maybe you got hit by the hail of once you shop us. <laughs> I don't know. The, in most societies, being called a Zion is not a good thing, right? Okay, so, all right, but whatever it is, she has a bad reputation. So, so the Gemara is saying, rather... Ra- marry the woman who has a bad reputation. Val Yisa Bas Bas Duma, don't marry the daughter. Why? Shazuba mitipak Shera, because the woman, the woman who's a zaina, her parents were probably kosher, right? So therefore, even though she she is a little off, but her parents, her parents are uh, are kosher, right? And Vezuba mitipak Sula, but the the daughter. Right, maybe Rashi says maybe a guy slept with her or a mamza, right? Which is interesting because a guy I understand a guy. The most most men are goyim. Most the majority of people are goyim. So she's a zaina. So the good chance that she slept with a guy, but uh, um, or but a mamza. What's the chances? What's the chances that this girl's a mamza? I mean, if, if again, we're not talking about an aishas ish here, right? We're not talking about an aishas ish because an aishas ish you can't marry her. Right, we're talking about a single woman who's just who's a who's a zayna. So we're only that. talking about a mamza lefi a Rebbe Akiva, because so she's she becomes a mamza from from a lot more Yisurim. So, Hi, yeah, that would be a chiddush. Um, um, uh, Okay, I don't know. But anyways, so the point is, is that he's saying that you should marry, you should marry the, the mother, not the kid. 
Okay, but Rabbi Yochanan Omar, you saw them Baz Dorma, he should know, rather than marry the daughter, Baal Yisa Dorma, don't marry her, Shazuay Medes the Cheskas Kashrus. The daughter has a Cheskas Kashrus. The Zuay Noi Medes the Cheskas Kashrus. And the mother does not have a Cheskas Kashrus because she's a Zaina. Right? So this, this is a stam a peek into how, how you look at things in, with, with Chazakas. Bottom line is, it's very nice that this girl's mother is a Zaina. But she has a cheskas kashrus. We have no reason to believe you have a, a Yiddish girl. <coughs> she has a chazaka that she's kosher. There's no reason to believe you may have this background. You may have this. You may have that. Okay, that's all very nice. But the chazaka doesn't doesn't ruin her chazaka. Masha Enkain, the mother, ruined the chazaka. Right? Meaning, what's what what what's the chazaka? Um. Yeah, so there's no nothing to say otherwise for, for the daughter. So, 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 so nothing to say. If the mother was Correct. stealing, do you say that the daughter's a, a thief? Or the, the, yeah. if the mother's a, a murderer, would you say the daughter's a murderer? You know, right. there's nothing right. to say. Right, so no, but, no, but if, mother, she if she was Mazana, if she was Mazana afterwards, if she was Mazana before, you have eight and she's an Asia's ish, and this child is born three years later, right? She says she she should be a momzer. Why? Because we know we have Aiden that she was Mazana. She was an Asian dish. That's you all. Say you don't know when. Right. You could say she became a Zaina. You could say she became a Zaina after she was born. But if you know for sure she was a Zaina beforehand, and she's an Asian dish, what's the contrast? You have no. You don't know she's a Zaina. Let's say we have eight. Let's say she, she is a Zaina. It's not what the not from her father. It's not what the husband. Say. That's not what the Aedim say. Well, here there's no Aedim. There's no Aedim. We just, this is all based on rumor. It's all based on rumor. So that means nobody saw her. Well, she's single anyways. Well, not anymore. She had the daughter through, through marriage. That's well, she says. Correct. The child is if she continued in her ways after she got married. Um... Correct. So that's what that's what Rashi explains. Meaning, um, Rashi says that what's the what do you mean? She I'm a becheskas kasher. So she had a cheskas kasher. She has a cheskas kasher. So Rashi saying that no, we're afraid that she is going to be since she's a zaina, he may marry her, and she's going to be also to him because she's mezana, but he doesn't know about it, and he's not he's not going to divorce her, and then he's going to be vile her be'iser. That's the concern, right? Since she ruined her 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 chazaka, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So okay, whatever it is, but that's that, that's the machlok. So so the Gemara asks, Meisve, Noisa Adam Daima. The 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 Brisa says a person could marry or should marry. Well, the Gaurav thinks right now it's saying a person should marry a daima. So you see it's a kasha on Rabbi Yochanan who says you should not marry the daima, you should marry the daughter. Right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit confused. But we say by, by the sight the waters, if he changes his mind, the husband, and she doesn't have to drink it, that's not a problem. And he can still stay married to her. But here we're saying he might be boil her to Isser. He, yes. No, we don't have any proof or anything. He wasn't, he didn't do kino, he didn't do stira. It's just I'm talking about he's marrying a lady who has a reputation as a zaina. So she may end up continuing in her bad ways afterwards. He didn't see anything. He didn't do kino, he didn't do, he didn't do anything. We just, behind his back, it might be a problem. No, Paris, no. Paris, you there? Can't hear him. Okay, anyways, what are you saying, Gershon? When you said Nice Adam Daima, he should marry. You mean he can marry? He's allowed to? Oh, so that's what should. we're going to discuss right now. That's what the Gemara is going to say right now. Right? Let's see. So, Mesve, Nice Adam Daima. The, the, the Bryce says that a person can marry a Daima. So, that's a Kasher of Yechanan, because he says, marry the daughter, don't marry her. So, Marav, Tisbara, Nice Lechatchila. 
the myth, the price is telling you a person should marry the, I don't know if should is the right word, but a person um, could marry, meaning no, everybody's going to tell you, you go to, you go ask your das tara whether you should marry this lady. They're going to tell you, don't marry the lady. I would just, the, the Gemara's machoikas is whether you have two ladies left in the world. You have the mother and you have the daughter. You got to marry one of them. So which one should you marry? But Avada Lechatchila, they're going to tell you that you should go to the top seminary and get a girl from there. Right? So again, Avada Lechatchila, you should marry her Lechatchila. Ela Im Nasa. If you marry, meaning it should be, the Brisa should be saying, if the person married, Aduma, so that it's, then it works. So Tananami Bas Duma. So that once you're changing the Brisa, then you might as well say that it's, it says Bas Duma. It's a fascinating terrace. Hear what the Gemara's, the Gemara's asked the Brisa that it says marry a Duma. So then Rubber says, well, one second, there's got to be something messed up about this Brisa because it can't be that they're telling you you should go marry a lady that they say is a Zaina or that you could marry, right? It, sh- it should be that if you did marry, then it's okay, right? We're obviously not talking about a Kayan here, right? Uh, is Asura and Zaina, so it's yeah. obvious. Okay, good. So it makes you happy to say that, Kayan? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? sure. I'm safe now, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did, didn't we start out, it's, it's, if you have the choice of the two, one is better. Well, you're correct. So, Correct. So it's, not, it's not saying it's, you should. It, right. So it's not saying that you should marry. It's if you have these two in front of you, the mother or the daughter, which one is better? Um, correct. But, but here's what he's saying. He's saying, so since clearly there's a typo in the Brysa, because the Brysa says, which sounds like he should do it or he can do a lechatchila, right? So clearly that's a typo and it should say nasa, which is in the past tense. So therefore, the Duma part is also a typo. And it, could, it should have said Bas Duma instead of Duma. Right? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know why. I found it fascinating. They would say, okay, you're, you, one word in the Bryce is messed up. So Mamelo to say the whole Bryce is corrupt and we're just, it's not a Kasha. That's essentially what it's saying. It's not a Kasha. It's a corrupt Bryce. And therefore, it's not, I don't mean corrupt that way. I mean, in this, in the, it's a type. The file is corrupt. Right? Okay. So what's the halacha? Yisa adam pas duma. A person should marry a married um, a person uh, um, ra- should marry a daughter. Al yisa duma, but don't marry her herself. Why? The tanur of tachlivu bar amarava kameder of avo isha mezana. If with uh, an isha's mezana, ksherin. But now ksherin. I'm sorry. The kids are kosher. Why? Meaning, even if we know that she was mezana, we still say the kids are not mamzerin. Why? Because Roy Bilas Achara Baal, the majority of Bias go after the Baal. Meaning, even though, even though this woman is being promiscuous, and how do we know that the kid that she has is not a mamza? So we're saying no, the kids are kosher, and you could do Shadokhan with the kids. Why? Because Roy Bias go after the Baal. Meaning, since the bottom line is most of the, the majority of the time she's going to be with her husband. So we go with Roy. We go with Rive, and therefore Rive. How do you know the majority of the times with her husband, not with other people? That's 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 the Gemara's assumption. That's oh, the Gemara's yeah. assumption because a woman is living. She wasn't wasn't like she wasn't living at home with the husband. We had this in the last Masech, but The Gemara said the same thing. It's a general thing. It's a chazaka. Yeah, that's basically what it is. If yeah. she's promiscuous, that's the chazaka. Does it doesn't break, break the chazaka? chazaka. It doesn't break the chazaka. Chazak is on that couple, or the chazak is on in general? Most general. And bottom line is, bottom line, I hate to break. All of us, our kids are only considered our kids based on a rive. That's what it is. That's the halacha. That's the halacha. Where's right. Avi Khan? We went through this. <laughs> Good, correct, Taka. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. It's only. It's only based. It's based on a rive. Right. Rive bias are with the bow. So mamela. We, yeah, we, out- we were insulting Avi Khan's granddaughter. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> the question is nowadays, would we be Mikhail you to take a DNA test? I don't know the answer to this question. Meaning, if a woman is promiscuous, right? Would Bezdin, should Bezdin 
say, okay, now give but me they DNA. Don't, I don't think they don't count DNA for stuff. I'm just, uh, DNA works 99.99% of the time. Question is, no. how luckily is that enough or not? That's what I'm, yeah. And a Hanami, and a Hanami. That's with that, let's, let, let's go with the Tzad that it is, or if you had a way, Taka, to figure it out, right? So are you mechuyiv to do that? Or do we just go with the rive? The rive is the rive. I think we just go with the rive. You're not mechuyiv to go. Halacha works with the with na, with nature. It doesn't work with the it doesn't work but not with nature. Right? Um yeah. So anyway, so that's uh so okay, that's what we're saying. The Roy Bias go after the bell. Fine. Boy, boy Rav Amram. So Rav Amram had a shiloh. So is if she's a prutza biyoisa, I don't know how exactly. Meaning, I think this is what Zev you were saying. Meaning, is she, she's such a prutza, she has a prutza that it could very well be the way Rashi says it's ikulamechash the roi from from others, right? Now I don't know where the husband is in this in the whole picture here, but she's a za, she's such a prutza that He's you counting. don't have the roi. What? He's counting money. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. So so do we say then? That uh, and, and, and that's another thing. Can you say that Bismanazer, most people because of STDs or whatever are going to be using some form of birth control, which is really the Gemara's sort of the Gemara's terrors. But how would that affect it nowadays? So I'll leave the Mandomer ain't Isha Misaberis Ella Samuch Levesta. So according to the Mandomer, it says that a woman doesn't get pregnant only when it's close to her, close to her period time, right? Which is scientifically not. Nowadays we don't we don't say this, right? So loyti bayulach, there's no question. The loyada ba v'loy v'loy She doesn't know when she's getting a period, so she knows she doesn't she doesn't meaning she doesn't want to have mamzerim. This lady, so if she knows when she's getting her period, if she knows when she's in the more fertile window, then she's not gonna be mezana during those days. So if you go with the shita that says that the most fertile time is before she gets a period. Well, she doesn't know when she's getting a period. So if that's the case, she doesn't have a way to do this natural birth control. So therefore, therefore we have to be chayshed that the kids are mamzer. No, but according to the mandomer that says that mo, and this is the this is the this is the theory of manazer. The theory of manazer is that women get pregnant close to the tvila time. So then, Mike, even the Yodav on the Turi Mintula, since she knows that she that's her fertile window, so she's not going to be together. She's not going to be Mazana during those days. I don't know, keeping the fruits of the Yaisa, keeping the fruits of the Yaisa, loyal. Maybe since she's a fruits of the Yaisa, she doesn't care. So, Teku, so that's a Teku. Yeah, so what are you saying? I mean, maybe I shouldn't even ask anything. I, I mean, some a woman who's in that business, she tries to make sure she doesn't get pregnant because that she's not. Uh, She's not too very attractive to continue in the business if she's pregnant. I would think. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if they're desperate, they're desperate. It's, it, it's, it's funny, but with you know, but the fact is, we just have a machlokus now. Which time is is is, is, is it's it's Roy to become pregnant? <laughs> she's in that she's in that locus all the time, so we don't really have an answer for her. You know, she's a lambda. She's a lambda. Take you then. She's a lambda. She's a lambda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Um. Didn't we have once that she'll know? How, she'll clean herself out after we had that in Ksubis. No, you yes. I don't know how that plays in over here. I don't know how that plays in over here. Um, okay, but either way, so that's the Gemara. That's a teiku. Fine. Okay. Um, okay, Tysus discusses what we're talking about a lady who has a set cycle. Because if she has a set cycle, which is the way the women were back then, then she should know when she's expecting her period. It's not like women nowadays who don't know when they're expecting their periods. Right? Okay, whatever. So again, also, I'm not so sure how taking birth control would affect it. Fine. So then it says that the a guy who's deaf and a guy who's uh, who's mashuga or he's in jail. So Bezdin, if, the, if his wife is misbehaving, Bezdin could be makana on her behalf, on his behalf. So turn up on an ish, 
It says ish. What does it what does it mean by ish ish saying it twice? It comes to include the wife of somebody who's deaf, the Aisha Shaita, and the wife of a Shaita, the Aisha Shiamum, and the wife of somebody who is mentally not well, or if the husband goes overseas, or he's in jail, Bezdin will do the kinoy on behalf of the husband, since the husband's not capable, either because of physically or in the location-wise, where he's not around, so Bezdin's going to take, take him over. Since you think, okay, so if Bezdin warns this lady on behalf of the husband, so maybe Bezdin can force her to have to go to the Pesach Mikdash to drink the drink too. It says the man has to bring his wife, right? Meaning Bezdin cannot bring his wife. The man has to bring his wife. So that's so the first sheet is that it can't, she can't drink, but they could cause her to have to get to get divorced without a ksuba, right? Even they can even <coughs> they could warn her to make her drink. And when the husband gets out of jail, then he could make her drink. Meaning, according to Rav Yosi, they could uh, the according to the Tanakama, they would he would have if he wants to make her drink, he would have to start the whole kinoi process again. Meaning Bezdin could do the kinoi process on his behalf, according to the Tanakama, in order to facilitate a divorce, right, without a ksuba. But if they want to stay married, then they, according to Tanakama, they have to start the process again. When he comes out of jail or when he gets back his hearing or, or, uh, or uh, he, his mental, he becomes mentally um, competent again. So then he would have to do the kinui and then the steer on his own. But according to Rabbi Yaisi, no. The, she, he could just start by saying, okay, I want to take you up to drink. Meaning the kinui of the Bezdin works to enable the husband to take her up to Yerushalayim. Okay? So what's the machloik? Is my kamif. The Rabbanon, sorry, being on the kinui of The Rabbanon hold, meaning the Tanakhama says, you need him to do the kinui and to bring her. Meaning that the two are connected. He has to do the kinui and he has to do the bringing. But if you have a of a kinu behavior, you don't need a kinu behavior. You just need him to bring, meaning somebody else can do the kinu. So the bezdin could do the kinu for the husband, and then the husband can bring her up. So can somebody else do the kinu? Or does it have to be a bezdin? Wasn't sure about this. I mean, a guy goes on a business trip, right? And his neighbor sees men going into his, his house. So the neighbor goes over to the wife and says, you know, um, I'm going to tell your husband on you. You better not do this. And I'm going to, right? That has no standing. Why not? Because it's just a nosy, you know, uh, <laughs> just a nosy neighbor. The same way when the guy, he bought the guy's wife food at, at Super Sol. So he doesn't have to pay him back, right? Well, it's not his business. Um, I mean, that's, that's the thing. That's isn't that the thing in court? They say he, he had this person has no standing in this case. Yeah, no, I know Hanami, but based on the Adas or whatever, but meaning, but a Bezdin does. Yeah, Bez, yeah, because they're official. I'm yeah. saying so. Bezdin, I'm saying so. According to what you're saying, it's not based on Adas from the Bezdin. The whole Bezdin goes marching to see to see her in um what that sh, the Bezdin goes and sees her. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. The three people, the whole business, three people, no? Yeah, so when they take a field on the trip. Way to, on the way to Mincha, they go stop walking okay. when they got the house. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah. But anyways, okay. So that's, so that's that machloik. It's fine. So, Tana Rabbanon, Asha Tista Isha, Isha, Isha Tachas Isha. Right? Again, Isha here, anytime Isha is with a Yud, it means her husband. Right? Asha Tista Isha Tachas Isha. When the, when the, Isha is a saita under her husband. So what it does, it, the Pasuk's telling us we have to compare the man to the woman and the woman to the man. What's, what's the halacha? Amr of Sheshes, just like if he is blind, she can't drink, that it has to be hidden from the eyes of her husband. Right? Um, so therefore, meaning if he's blind, 
there's no drinking the drink. So kahi im hoisa suma loy hoisa shoisa. If she's blind, she also doesn't drink. Right? <coughs> Meaning, as long as one spouse, we're comparing the man to the woman. So just like if if he's blind, she he cannot do, he cannot make her drink. Same thing if she's blind, he cannot make her drink. Yeah, that's one way. Just like a woman who doesn't who 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 doesn't have hands, right? Or she uh um or she's what do you call it? Uh she's a chigar, she can't walk, she can't walk properly, so she doesn't drink. on now, that the kain, right? We said that kain has to take the carbon mincha and put it on her on her hands. And if she doesn't have hands, then they can't do it, right? So kahu im hayachigar agidim. So same thing by him. If he's a chigar or he's a gidim, lo hayamashka, right? And basically, the the pasuk is saying that whatever mum disqualifies him from being doing kinu b'stira applies to her too, and the same ones that apply to her apply to him. Barbara Vashi, I'm on a third case. Kishem she ilemes, lehoisa shaisa. Same way, a woman who can't talk, she's mute, doesn't drink. Dechsev, Barbara Isha, Amen, Amen. The woman says, Amen, Amen. Kahu, him haye ilem, him too, if he is mute, lehoya mashka, he also doesn't drink. So the, they're both, they all have the same qualification. Hadron Allah, Hadron Allah Harusa. I don't have anything to make a drink of Lachayama. Okay. Uh, it said lo, lo, ye, lo, instead of Chaim, lo, Chaim, lo, Chaim. it said it, it said lo yigai mashke or lo yigai kishke kisha yeah. but lo haya it's like talking it's past tense yeah um okay fine there you go <laughs> either way have a look is just the guy in the last line he took himself off mute to drink um that's true. That is true. <laughs> and you I didn't even I didn't even think that. Yeah, okay, fine. Um this is the Mishnah. We have a long Mishnah. It's a lot of long Mishnahs here. Kishem, yeah, we have it. Shame Shahamayim, just like just like the water tests, tests, uh um, just like the water tests her, so the Mayim is going to be Baidik him too. It says, so we're going to do it. So in the Gemara, we're going to see who's the Aisai. It's, it's right, the Gemara, it's interesting. The Gemara uses the word Aisai. The Mishnah used the word Aisai. Who's the Aisai? Her husband, her boyfriend, who is it? Right? And also says, the question is going to be, is that coming? From the two times it says the word bow, or is it coming from the vav? Okay, and then the Mishnah continues. The same way, if if um, um, she's usher to her husband, if she's mezana, she's usher to her husband. If she does it uh, willingly, kach asur She's also usher to the one who she was. Um, promiscuous with Shanamar Nitma Vinitma. Dear Rabbi Kiyu, we're gonna have to see how that what the limit from that pasuk is. Um, the Zachariah ben Akatsav darshan that way. Rabbi Yehuda, 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 Rabbi the one who's bail her is also to her. Right? The question is, we're going to see in the Gemara what, what, what exactly is the machloik is here. Nitma, vinitma, because they both seem to be saying the same thing. Right? The first sheet also said, Kishem shazuru l'baal, kacha shazuru l'baal, shanema nitma, vinitma. Right? And the Rebbe says, the two times it says, nitma, vinitma, is one for baal, one for bail. Mashma, that according to the first sheet, the, the lima is not from the two words, tuma, it's from the vav. Okay. Now we're going to see by Bai Bayaim, it's on that day. So Rashi says, Bai Bayaim, Rabbi Kiva Darshan, meaning on the day when Rabbi Lozav and Azariah was, point, was appointed the Nasi. And he let in, meaning Rabbi Gamliel 
had the opinion that you have to be having an elitist yeshiva. You can't just, and anybody who's toicha is not kebarai, meaning anybody who's not legit cannot come to yeshiva. Then Rav Elazar ben Azariah took over and he opened up the floodgates and he let anybody in. So there was a lot more toicha being learned on that day. So anytime it says in Shaz, by biyoyim, so that's, that was that day. So here the Gemara, the Mishnah is going to say a few things. Right? It's basically the way it happened in Lakewood. In Lakewood, Rav Aaron Cutler had it as elitist, and then Rav Schneier opened the doors, I think, from what I understand, the history of it. Um, that's Elio Ikovic's department, but uh, from the history of it, I think that's, that's the way it went down. Right? And then, then on Bar Hashem, Lakewood is totally, it totally exploded. Fine. So, so normally, klicheres um, cannot become tummy from touching something on the outside. But klicheres has a very unique status for tuma, and that is if there's a tuma hanging inside the klicheres, then it'll make the klicheres tummy, and it'll make anything inside the klicheres tummy. All right. Otherwise, normally, Tumah has to only transfers by touching. But for Kli Cheres, if you have, let's say, a Sheretz hanging inside the Kli, it's going to make things, the, it's going to make the Kli tummy, and then the Kli will make other food that's hanging inside the tummy, even though it didn't touch. Right, so, Eino Emer Tame El Yitma. The Pasuk doesn't say Tame. It says Yitma will become Tame. The Tame Acher. It's going to, it's making something Tame to make something else Tame. What it's going to teach you is that if there's a second loaf of bread inside this earthenware utensil, it will now go make another thing, Tommy, meaning it'll go down to a Shlishi. Basically, the order of Tuma is you have Ava Tuma, then you have a Rishon, a Shani, and a Shlishi, and sometimes Revi, which we'll see in, in two blood from now. Right? We had this in Chagiga. Sometimes for, for Truma, Kachim, right? It's... It, uh, it can make a difference, right? So here, Chamishi with Paraduma. What? Chamishi with Paraduma. Chamishi, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, um, so basically, what happened? We have like this. So you have this sheretz, who's an avatuma inside a utensil. That's an avatuma. It now goes and makes the utensil into a risha, right? Because that's the next step. Even though it didn't touch it, it's just from the sheretz hanging inside the utensil. Then there's a piece of bread inside that utensil, on the bottom of the utensil. That piece of bread will now become a sheni, right? Avatuma from the sheretz, the rishon becomes the utensil, and it makes the bread a sheni. Now that bread has the tuma power to make something else tummy. That's what Rebekiva was saying, right? So that's what the word yitma says. It's not tame, it's yitma that it has the power to make something else tame. So Rabbi Yeshua says, Who who would take off the dirt? Who would reveal the dirt from the eyes of Yachan and Mazaka? Because Rabbi Yachan and Mazaka was already nifter. And he said, Halavai, that they would, you would become alive again, right? So that you would see this raya that Rabbi Kiva is bringing from a beferish apostle that it will have the strength to make something else tame in order to make a third thing tame, right? It's that, it, that the second loaf of bread, meaning is has the power to make something else tame. Shayisa Aimer, because you used to say, Asid dor acher letar kikar shlishi. Rabbi Yagam Hamadzaka said, since it's not, she'en loy mikram in a Torah shehu tame. Since there's no beferish apostle that says that this thing inside the earth and where keli, will have the power to make a third Tuma, since it's not Beferish, in the future generations, they're just going to give up on this. Right? It's sort of like what we say always about our door. Our door is a Shvach door. It's a Shvach door, right? So Rabbi Yagana Mazaki was basically saying, the future Dairus, since there's no Pasuk that says Beferish, that there's a Shlishi Latuma, so therefore they're going to give up on it. And now that Rabbi Kiva came along and he found the Diak in the Pasuk to say that it's Beferish in the Torah, now Rabbi Yochanan is going to be proven wrong because he had a za, there was a za person like Rabbi Kiva who came up with such a chiddish that's written in the Torah. And therefore the future generations are going to keep listening. And the future generations are going to keep a shlishi latoma. Uh, how, how much you have to keep from Yochanan and Zaka? Um, I don't even think 
I think two generations, the art school said something on the footnote about it. Mm -hmm. okay. that he wasn't a, Rabbi Kiva was not a Talmud of Rabbi Yechonah ben Zaka, right? No, but they lived at the same time. They both lived through the Korban Bayez Shani. Yeah, but Rabbi Kiva was, wasn't later? They both lived through it. Rabbi Yechonah ben Zaka got taken out in the Narin. Rabbi Akiva was 80 when it happened. Yechem Zaka was the Zakin. Okay, I, I have these the Tanoim books over here in English. I'm looking at them. Okay, Dovi, you would know. They have these comic books. On it, says here, it says in the article, Rabbi Akiva actually studied under Elizabeth Herkinus and of Yeshua, who were themselves disciples of Yochanan ben Zakai. So, so he was really a Talmud of a Talmud. Oh, so he, so he, he must have been younger. So then, what, 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 why does everybody get all excited about? Uh, oh, never mind, never mind. I don't know if he was younger, but Rikiva only started when he was late, uh, later in, in, in age. Or maybe because he started later. So, relatively speaking, he was younger, player wise. I hear. Okay, whatever it is, but he came later. So, that's the point. Point is, Rabbi Yadam and Zaka thought. That nobody's ever going to make a diak in the Torah, and Rabbi Kiva came along and made a diak in the Torah. I should have stopped mid sentence. I'm Rabbi Shua, going back two lines. I'm Rabbi Shua. Me a gala offer me anecha, Rabbi Yechon ben Zaka. Who, who, meaning who will reveal the dirt from your eyes? Meaning halavai that should be that you should have trias amesim. She yisa imer because you said asid dar acher letar kikoshlishi. You said that the, there's going to be the future diarists are going to allow this Kikar Shlishi. Why? Why do you say that? Because there's no Beferish or Pasuk in the Torah that it's Tameh. So therefore the future generations are going to give up on it because it doesn't say it. Father Rabbi Kiva Tamidcha, Rabbi Kiva Yitalmud, which I guess what the, David was saying, what the article saying is it wasn't really a Talmud. It was called a Talmud. Maybe like Mikram and Atayra Shu Tameh. Now you have, now Rabbi Kiva was Mechadish that the Torah does say it befeirish. So therefore, the future the future generations are going to keep it. Right? So that would make Rabbi Yochanan and Zaka very happy. Yeah? Okay, so that's one thing that happened on that day. By Biyay, a second thing, Darash Rabbi Kiva. So it says by the Ari the by the Ari Alaviyim. So it says Madaisim, and you measure Michutz Leir as Paas Kedma Afayim Baama to the east of two thousand Amas, and then the Pasuk continues. And to the west, and to the north, and to the south, 2,000 Amas. That's one Pasuk. So it seems like you give to the Ari Levim, you have 2,000 Amas of space outside the city. Or the Machna, the Machna Levim, really. From the wall of the city and outside, you have 1,000. So we have a stira. Right? One says 2,000, one says 1,000. So you have You can't say that it means 1,000 Amas. You can't say that it means 1,000 it already says two thousand amos. Vi ashulaim and alfayim amo shekvar nemar elaf amo. Can't say two thousand because it already says a thousand. Hakeitzad elaf amo migrash alfayim amo tchum shabbos. What it means is that you have a a thousand amos of migrash means just empty field because they wanted to just leave empty fields around the machin and levia so that it looks nice. They should have parks or whatever. And then the two thousand amos is referring to tchum shabbos. Which starts after that. So basically, it's a total of 3,000. Right? Um, no, I don't know if it means 3,000. Sorry. No, 1,000 and 1,000 is 2,000. Right? No, it's saying Alfayim, meaning. Right, but Alfayim from, from the, the, from the, the, from the wall. Boom, here, the wall. If first 1,000 is. Is, uh, is the fields. Is, 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 yeah. But, but we'll start counting again to 2,000. That's the Chum Shabbos. Correct. And Correct. From the wall. So it's really 2,000. It's 2,000. Wow, I'll tie him out. Yeah. That's the first sheet. The second sheet of Rebbe Benoi, Shob Yachza Glili, Oymer, Elof, Amma, Migrash, Fafayim, Amma, Sado, Sekrom, a thousand Amas of the Migrash, of the uh, fields, Right. And 2,000 Amas is Sadas Akramim, which means they're really giving 2,000 Amas, nothing to do with Tchum Shabbos, right? They really have 2,000 Amas. The first 1,000 you do nothing with, and the second 1,000 they could do vineyards and uh, fields and et cetera. 
right? Um, fine. That's the second thing. Second one is not 3,000? Second one is definitely not 3,000. First one is also... 1,000 Amma is open space. Right. And Amma, including the first thousand. Why is it including? That's the way Rashi says it. I would have thought like you. Naftali, I would have thought like you. I would have, which I tell you. I would have thought like you. I didn't look at Rashi from the words of the Gemara. It looks like three. And a Hanami. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, but that's the way Rashi says it. Fine. Right. So it says Moshe and Bnei Yisrael said the Shira, and they said as Lamar. What is it saying, Lamar? So what's Lamar saying? Meaning, Kla Yisrael answered Moshe Rabbeinu on each and everything, as if they're reading Halal. Which we're going to see in the Gemara exactly the, the difference is how, meaning, did they all say it together? Did Moshe say one Pasuk and then the Klaizo repeated each Pasuk? Or did he just start them off and then they continued themselves? That's going to be a Machloikas in the Gemara. So the first sheet that says they did it like Halo. Didn't Azir predate Halo? Yeah, but what it means doesn't. It doesn't mean that we're, it's a way for the Mishnah to describe okay. how they did okay. it. The way we do Halo is the way they did the Azir. That's the first pshat. They do it like Shema, but like a Karen is a halal, not like halal, right? Meaning it's said, again, they're both dashing the word Lamar to, is, as for the same thing. They're just having a machloik is how exactly it was read. Meaning it was like, basically it was a Pusik by Pusik. Like sometimes you say Tilim, you know, after davening, sometimes everybody just says it together. The Chazan starts it and then everybody just continues it. Or you do pasuk by pasuk, so that's essentially what the machlekes is. Fine. Third and last one. By beyond darush of Yeshua ben Harkinus, lai avad iyev as Hakadosh Baruch Hu elam So we know that iyev um, loved the Rebbeinu Shalom, even though he had all sorts of tsar. So iyev didn't didn't wasn't over Hashem only from from love. Shenemar hein yiktilani lai ayachel. Even if they kill me. I would still, Ayachal means I'm still going to want the Rabbanu Shalala. Right? Um, uh, but you see here, it's spelled loy, loy here is spelled with a vav, meaning, hey, loy, to him, Ayachal, I'm still going to daven or or whatever, I'm still going to love. Right? Badayin hadavr shakal. But maybe it's still being weighed, meaning, what does that mean, that pasuk? Loy ani metzapeh? Oy any mitzvah, meaning is it loy with a vav to him? I'm looking to oy any mitzvah, or maybe it's la, la, maybe it's loy with an aleph, right? That I'm not gonna look to, right? So, um, so the question meaning it's one of those classic Korean exiv. What is the pasuk? Is it loy with an aleph? Is it loy with a vav? And obviously, it makes a big difference. Right in and how you translate it. If it's loy to him, so then then you wants the Rabbanu Shalom. But if even if he would be killed, and if you say it's loy with an aleph, so he says if he kills me, I don't want him. Right. So Tama Loimar, it says that's, what? That's the Gera of his word by the Saris in the Bakabal Satyra. What is that? He said Ryan as a Kailas because they had to see that loy was spelled with an aleph, Nishmit Avuv. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. right, that's a right, that's a, yeah, very good. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so Tom and Loimer, ad egva, ad egva, loy oser tumasi mi many, right? Until I die, I'm not going to take off my my tmima stick from me. Malamit she mahava also, he did it from love. Oh, Rabbi Shua, me gala offer me a necha, Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai, same, same thing. Who would be? Megala that you should have that really the Riyach Ramazaka should have Tchiyas Amesim. Shayisa Dairish Kol Yemecha Shaloi Ovid Iyav and Samaka and Kala Meyira because you had said Riyach Ramazaka said all his days he darshan that Iyav was did it from from Yira Shenemar Ishtam VeYasha. Right, he was a there was an Ishtam a complete like a pure man and straight Yirei Lekim and he was a Yirei Lekim Vesar Meira. Right, and he turned away from bed. Right, so meaning so there. That's 
It's there. It says he was a yari elikim. He wasn't ayiv elikim. He was a yari elikim. He feared Hashem. So then, so that's what Rabbi Yechonon had always dashed. And Allah Yeshua Tam Talmud Tamid. So Yeshua, the Talmud of your Talmud, Loma Limeid Shemayahava. So he learned it out that he did it from love. So Rabbi Yechonon Zaki had always. I guess Rabbi Yechonon Zaki wasn't happy with learning that Eiv did it from from Yira, but that's the way he dashed in the pasuk. And then came along the Talmud of his Talmud and brought a Briah from a Pasuk with the Lai, with the Vav, that he did it from Ava. So then, Halavai, Rabbi Yechonah Mitzaki, who should be alive, that he should see that Eev really was Ava, the Rabbani Shalom, from Ava, and not and not from, from Yira. Okay, I'll stop over here. Oh, we finished at a rest, relatively normal time. All right, there you go. Um, yeah. All right. Have yourself a fine night. I forgot I had to ask somebody on this stuff a question, and I have no recollection who it was and what the question was. This week you have in the Medrash, it brings value of Achrei Moshe Bnei Aharon, so it brings yeah. things to Gemara that said that not the Venaviu, they said not the Veteraviu, that uh, you know when these two old guys are going to die, we'll take over about Moshe and Aaron. In, in it sees that not of Anavu got punished because he was quiet. Avu didn't respond. So he says, "Oh, that's the same thing that happened with him by Parai. He didn't respond, and that's why he had all his Tzaras. Uh, he should have spoken out." Well, so who? So what's that? But who shouldn't have spoken out this week's parsha? That he of by he was one of the uh, uh, eight right, people. Right, right. By Parai, and he didn't say anything. And he sees that Avihu got punished because he didn't say anything. He says, wow, oh, man, now he's in trouble. Um, because he saw Avihu Avi got punished for not saying anything. And Eel mm-hmm. didn't say anything either. So he has to ask for his voice. And when he saw that, he said, oh, now he's in trouble because he didn't speak out by Paroi. Interesting. Uh, that's in this week's parsha. The, med- the medrash brings it in, in this week's parsha. Uh huh. Very good. That's a very good shkayach. That's a that's a good uh, that's a good. Uh, so you have the daf in the parsha. What? Yeah, you have Eiv in the parsha. The same. I right hear. Very good. That's very good. Yeah. All right. The good so, idea. It's good to have the ideas in these things. <laughs> Alavai by me. Alavai by me. All right. Uh, the go ahead. Last, I'm going to run fire. The yeah, last go ahead. The last Talmud of the last Eric reminded me of the story of Chava Willig Levy. Yeah. We just had Gemara, like three running Gemaras about Samach Latvila, a blind husband, and a, a woman who's an Ilan, a Chigaris. Right. You know the famous Misa? It was snowing. If you do it quick, you do it quick. Because Very I quick, die. very yeah. quick. It was snowing. There was a snowstorm and the power was cut by the mikvah. It turned out that it was her, her she was a polio survivor, so she was in a, right. wheel, a wheelchair. But it was her, Leil Tvila. And she called around. She, she, she got two people to take her there. But the mikvah was closed because the power was cut and it was freezing cold. By that time, they'd closed the mikvah. But she made them open it so she could be titled. Taka? Yeah. Wow. The woman who needed to be lifted into the mix and out. Wow. Now you're reminding me. I didn't. I wasn't Menachem <laughs> Yeah. Anyways. All yeah. right. Yeah. We should hear only Basura's Tovis. Man. Okay. All right. Zagazim. Have a <laughs>